Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm sharing a dessert which is traditionally associated with the summer but unfortunately is not enjoyed as much nowadays. I hope that my twist to an otherwise classic recipe will make you fall in love with this perfect sweet treat once again. If you do not follow my Instagram, please do check it out for more of my content. For this recipe, you'll be needing 1 litre of milk, 3.5 tablespoons of any flavoured custard that you prefer. Today I'm using vanilla, 2.5 tablespoons of sugar, 1 packet of any flavoured jelly which is around 85 grams, 190 grams of cake. You can use plain or flavoured, today I'm using lemon cake. You also need some double cream which we will whip and you can also add on some fruits of your preference. I'm going to start off by preparing the jelly as this will take a really long time to set but of course you can use quick setting jelly as well. To prepare the jelly all you need to do is empty out its contents into a bowl and add in as much hot water as is required. On the back of my packaging it's said to add in 200 milliliters. however you may need to add more or less depending on which company's jelly you are using. Before you let the jelly set, do remember to give it a good stir to ensure that all of it has dissolved properly. In the meantime, whilst the jelly sets, we can start preparing the custard. In a pan, I'm adding in 1 litre of milk and I'm going to heat this on medium high heat. Into this you can add in sugar to taste and give it a good whisk so that it can dissolve. Into a bowl I've added in the custard powder to which I'm now going to add the now lukewarm milk. Make sure that you give the milk and custard powder make sure a good stir to ensure that it is a liquid. Now you can add in the custard powder mixture into the milk but make sure you add it in slowly otherwise the custard will thicken up too quickly. It's really important that you give the milk a whisk whilst you add in the custard powder mixture with your other hand. Once the custard has reached your desired thickness you can remove it from the heat and pour it into a bowl so that it can cool down. Now that the jelly is set, I'm going to cut it into cubes. You can make these cubes as big or as small as you want. Today, I'm going for medium sized cubes. Into my serving bowl, I'm going to start making the layers. The first layer that I'm making will be a cake layer. As you can see, I've cut the cake into relatively small pieces to make it easier to layer it. On top of this, I'm going to add on some mango cubes followed by the jelly and the custard. The custard is now cool. Keep following this pattern until your bowl is completely full. Now I'm going to make my own homemade whipped cream but if you want to make your life a little bit easier you can use store bought as well. In a large mixing bowl I'm going to whisk together 200 milliliters of double cream along with some powdered sugar to taste. You can either do this by hand or you can use an electric whisk like I am. Whisk the double cream until it starts forming soft peaks. Now onto the trifle, I'm going to add a final layer of whipped cream and then you can present this however you want. You can either pipe this whipped cream on or you can just smooth it on like how I am with a spatula.
You're ready to serve your trifle but if you want you can decorate it with some leftover mango chunks and some jelly cubes as well. So here it is guys, here is the end result. If you like my video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you share my recipe with your friends and family so that they don't miss out either. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see next time. Thank you so much for watching, see you next time, bye!